I love you once it's Alice. I'm off the stars. This is a continuation of a suggestion I had for um, a, a place to house or a, allow an encampment of homeless people, especially men or men with women, uh, but not families, uh, maybe just men, in the uh, San Fernando Valley. I understand there are about 6,000 people that need homes there. Uh, and anyway, I came up with this notion, and I, I'd like to put forth this as a possibility, or if you like the idea but the location is not uh, appropriate, then you could use the parameters that I'm choosing by to find another location in the San Fernando Valley. So I had in mind uh, a locale, actually the parking lot that used to be and maybe the, also as time goes on, the building that used to be Costco at uh, Canoga Avenue and um, uh, Roscoe. That's the uh, south uh, east uh, corner of that intersection. Um, and it, it features a big parking lot and then there's a really big Costco building there. There's also a, a special kind of fueling station there in the parking lot right now. But the Costco has closed up and gone elsewhere, and it's been some for some time vacant, probably for lease or for sale. So, so I had some thoughts about that. Um, it's it's kind of off by itself. It's not like next to a shopping center like the Osh that was deserted up near Fallbrook Shopping Center. Uh, so, uh, and uh, it's across the street from a Salvation Army, and it's uh, also next door to a Home Depot. And I, I thought a few things. I thought that with a high fence, um, that the par part of the parking lot that's not being used else el otherwise could be fenced off and used as a, a place for where the homeless could pitch their tents. And I also thought that the people at Salvation Army m might be ideally suited to help maintain such a homeless encampment or to provide professional advice regarding it. Then there's a Salvation Army st store right there which would provide cheap goods. And um, the Home Depot, I've noticed that um, there are there are day laborers who gather outside ready to help people with their projects, their home improvement projects and repair projects, maintenance projects. And I wondered if that might be temporarily a source of day labor for the homeless population. Um, also, I thought of Home Depot be because they have, and Lowe's, because they have inexpensive... Um, uh, sheds, like prefabricated sheds, that might be the smallest ones, might be helpful for uh, to put up as semi-permanent locations for the homeless that provide some security for, uh, for their goods if they were to go off on a day job and, uh, or, or, or other job. Uh, a facility that's open only during the coldest months of the year, but I feel it might be good to separate the population even within that one parking lot into a uh, uh, single man for one large area and then families for another area and then in another area handicapped people and the reason to put the to allow handicapped access to another area is that there might be some rough housing and carrying on uh, in in the men's area, for instance, and the handicapped uh, can't move quite as fast sometimes. They're not as mobile, and they might be better protected in a separate in, in enclosure. Um, so those are my thoughts. I also think um, that a grading system might be established, say, with with people who are maybe from Salvation Army. So at first, training people who are in the encampment to become like... Um, uh, caretakers or uh, people to help keep order and make sure everything is okay, call the police if necessary if any roughhousing happens, um, and to have strict rules about that so that the people that are there can feel safe and comfortable. Um, so, And also, if it turns out that, that there are people um, 
who are employed either as day laborers for for um, Home Depot or or else, uh, say in a sort of a factory situation inside of the Costco, if that were to work out, or even uh, if something were to be worked out in the parking lot there, you know, for for day laborers um, with with rudimentary manual skills, um, that there might be these people that have been trained to help uh, maintain uh, maintain decorum, let's say, uh, during the day, and to make sure there are, that there are no instances of uh, substance abuse and like that that cause uh, uh, the feeling that there might be an unsafe situation happening. Um, I wondered further if if people were employed, if the homeless were employed, uh, whether uh, there might be a, like a discounted uh, like training position available that is maybe uh, part of the wage of the person might be benefits for um, substance abuse programs or psychological um, or health issues programs that could be provided on campus, as it were. Well, that's my thought. Is it that place or some place like it might prove to be quite a godsend for the homeless population here in the San Fernando Valley? Tell me what you think about it. This is a topic for neighborhood discussion. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.